Welcome to Insight Hub, the video series dedicated to the world of data and brought to you by Miracle's Data Practice. Hi, and welcome to the Insight Hub video series. This is Monica Chirukuri working as lead researcher for data cognitive and analytics teams here at Miracle's Innovation Labs. Today, we're going to talk about a visualization dashboard built with historical IPL data using R and Shiny. Here is our agenda for today. First, uh, I will explain a bit about what IPL is. Uh, later, I'll uh, tell you how uh, a visualization dashboard uh, is needed and what are the benefits of this application. Mm, so I'll, I'll also explain about the technologies that we use for building these applications that is R and Shiny. And I will also show you the packages that I have uh, used for building this application. Um, I will explain uh, the flow of the application in our architecture flow, followed by a live demo. IPL is a very popular tournament in India, which was initiated in 2008 by the Board of Control for Cricket in India. So IPL has developed into the most popular outlet for the game of cricket. So uh, the first season was started with eight teams, uh, but the later seasons have more than eight teams too. Uh, before the season begins, uh, an auction will be conducted for the bidders to select players into their teams. Uh, from a pool of available players selected by the BCCA. So the bidders are uh, some of India's richest people from industrials to film stars. So a team should have Indian players along with four play uh, foreign players. Each team represents an Indian city like Chennai Super Kings, um, Mumbai Indians, etc. In the tournament, 20 overs are allowed for each batting side to score as many runs as they can. Each team plays with the other team both at home and away in a round-robin system. So the top four ranking teams progress to the knockout stage of semi-finals followed by a final game. Uh, data analytics in sports is not uncommon. Uh, it opened a whole new perspective on the way we look at it. Being a cricket fan, we want to know about the number of balls faced by a batsman, number of fours scored, number of sixes hit, or the number of wickets won by a bowler, and so on. Uh, sponsors and bidders want to have a look at the player's performance before they go for actual bidding um, when they take the players into their team. Uh, this is very important because the franchises invest a huge amount of money into this. Um, they want a platform where they can analyze players or teams uh, based on the past performance. This dashboard is built by taking into account the ball-by-ball -ball and matches historical data from uh, 2008 to 2016 seasons. So graphs on the dashboard changes instantly as users modify inputs with a selection of filters or drop-downs. Um, this dashboard is mainly useful for responses, bidders for uh, leveraging analytics to make decisions quickly. So to plan gaming strategies and um, evaluate players efficiently, this, uh, this dashboard uh, will be very helpful so that they can stay ahead of the competition. Uh, cricket lovers can use this dashboard to find out the batting streak of their favorite players or the um, uh, winning rate of their favorite team, etc. For building this application, I have used R and Shiny. So R is an open source uh, language and environment for uh, statistical computing and graphics. So it's really, uh, uh, really easy to learn and implement. R language helps in data handling and data analysis as well. So it provides a variety of statistical techniques like um, uh, linear, nonlinear, um, clustering, classification, and a lot of uh, graphical techniques too. So um, the next one is Shiny. Uh, Shiny comes with a variety of built-in input widgets. Like it's, uh, it also contains uh, pre-built output, uh, output widgets for uh, uh, displaying plots or uh, tables or uh, printed outputs of R objects. So with minimal syntax, it is possible to create a uh, UI very easily. So like I said before, Shiny is available as a package in R. Um, Shiny UI can be built entirely on R without JavaScript or can be written directly in HTML, CSS, and JavaScript for uh, more flexibility. So Plotly is another package. Uh, it's an uh, interactive graphing library. The graphs created with plot, uh, Plotly come along with uh, options like zoom in, zoom out, or uh, we can click on legend entries to uh, toggle between traces. So ggplot2 is an advanced R library for uh, creating charts as well. 
So here it provides mapping of various attributes of graphs like um, uh, size, shape, or color, or labels. So it will they all will be available as the different attributes. And when we combine them together, uh, it makes a complete chart. So here is the architectural flow of this application. So the data set here can be of any format, uh, CSV or Excel or JSON or Big Data even. So for this use case, I have taken uh, matches and ball by ball statistics of the um, uh, IPL matches held between 2008 to 2016. Um, so then I used uh, SQLDS, which is nothing but uh, SQL data frame to give a table-like structure to the data so that I would be able to query the data set. So later I used Shiny to create a web application. Um, so Shiny usually has the two parts, so UI and server. In UI, uh, we can uh, create the HTML bootstrap to, like we can use the HTML bootstrap to create the dashboard interface. Uh, whereas in the server, uh, this is where we actually build the application, so this will contain the code related to the algorithms that we use. So here in my case, I used um, generalized linear model for building the application. So uh, through this dashboard, um, users can give their inputs and the graphs will be generated instantly according to that. Let's take a look at the dashboard and see how it works. So this is the dashboard where um, all the data is shown in a graphical format. Uh, so first, uh, first start here, we have individual statistics of the players. So here, we, uh, in, through this, we can find the number of times a person acted as a first empire. So here we can also select the limit and uh, choose the season as well. So for 2010, um, here are the top six uh, uh, persons who have acted as a first empire for the matches. So in the same way, we can also find out for second empire. So this time I'm going to give the top 11 in 2012 season. So you can see that the graph instantly changes within seconds. So here are the uh, top 11 uh, persons who have acted as um, second empire over all the matches uh, from 2008 to 2016. So if you want to uh, find the top batsmen who have scored the highest number of fours, so we can also choose a uh, season over here. So it will uh, give us the top batsmen who have, like they are ranked by the number of fours they have hit over all the matches. So similarly, if I want to find the um, uh, batsmen who have been ranked by their number of sixes hit, here I can find it like this. So going to the second tab, here um, we can find the statistics based on team-wise. So if we uh, select any of the season here, it will show uh, the number of matches won by that team in a particular season. So based on season that we select here, it will show the number of matches won by that team in that season. So this uh, this will show the count of matches held in overall the seasons. Like in 2010, uh, 16 matches were held. And in 2014, also there were 60 matches held between all the teams that participated in the IPL. So once we go to the batting records, here we can uh, see the number of, um, like the batsmen ranked by their total runs scored in each season. So we can uh, give uh, like any season and select, I want to know the top 15 people, top 16 people here in uh, 2011. So it will give the number, uh, like the top 16 people um, scoring the uh, total runs over all the matches held in that particular season. So here we, we can see that Jose has scored 492 runs over all the matches that he played in 2011 season. So if I select like 2012 and I want top eight people, I can get that. Uh, you can see that Chris Gale is the top most player uh, who got 733 runs in the season of 2012 over all the matches that he played in that season. So if we go to the team scores, um, here in this graph, we can find out the top score of the uh, team that we choose here. And um, that will be also given in the basis of each season. So here you can see that the Kolkata Knight Riders have scored 222. That is the uh, top score of that team in 2008 season. So if you can see, uh, 200 is the top score of Kolkata Knight Riders in 2014 season. So let me try for another team 
let's go with Senet Super Kings. So here, uh, if you can see, uh, 246 is the top score that they have uh, uh, scored in a match in 2010 season. So here uh, we can see the number of um, uh, runs they have scored, uh, particular to a season. So we can select the uh, players over here. So we can also uh, type the name here, or we can select from the scroll bar. So if I want to know the uh, top score of Virat Kohli, I just gave the name and the graph is here. So in 2016, 113 are the total number of runs he has scored uh, in a match. So 99 are the top runs he has scored in a match in 2013 season. So we can also find out the uh, top five teams scoring highest runs in a stadium. So all we have to do is select the stadium over here. So here uh, we have a, a Barabati Stadium. Um, here uh, it will show the top five teams that have scored the highest runs um, who have played in that particular stadium. So here you can see in 2010, uh, Deccan Chargers has scored 171 runs in a match uh, held in 2010 season. And here um, Kings 11 Punjab has scored 231 runs in a match in season 2014 in this stadium. So let me try another stadium. So let's go for Vanquish Stadium. So here you can see um, these are the top five teams who have scored the maximum runs, uh, the highest runs um, in a match held at that stadium. So here you can see Kings 11 Punjab has scored 226 runs in 2014 in that stadium. So here we can find um, how many times a player has been dismissed by a bowler. So if I select uh, Chris Gale, um, here we, uh, we get the graph like he was dismissed by uh, KV Sharma twice over all the matches that he played from 2008 to 2016 in IPL and um, uh, once by RP Singh and uh, uh, twice by Ashwin. So here um, you will get all the, de uh, all the um, frequent dismissals by a bowler of that particular player we selected here. So this is how the dashboard helps in um, uh, evaluating a player or a team or a stadium. Thank you. Thank you for watching a video on Inside Hub. The video series brought to you by Miracles Data Practice. For more videos, please visit miraclesoft.com slash insighthub.